Hi, I'm Brady Volpe with The Volpe Firm, and today we're going to cover how to get the Nano VNA UI up and running. It's called Nano Saver, Nano VNA Saver. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go to the Nano Saver VNA, Nano VNA Saver GitHub homepage. That's right here, GitHub.com. Nano VNA dash Saver slash Nano VNA dash Saver. I'll have that in the link below, and have all these instructions on the link below that we're going over today. Um, on your Mac, this is for the Mac. I'll uh, hopefully get instructions to also be covering videos to do this on Windows and Linux, but today we're focusing on the Mac. On your Mac, uh, bring up a terminal window. You cannot do this without a terminal window. Um, I use iTerm2, but you can just use the basic terminal window on your Mac. And you'll be want to be familiar with running these commands. Uh, there are six or seven steps to this. I'll have all seven steps below. If you don't already, you're going to want to install Homebrew on your computer. Uh, that's the first step. Run this command. Uh, that's the first command below. Just hit enter. It's going to ask for your password. That is the password that you use to log into your Mac computer. Enter that password. Uh, it's going to ask you, do you want to run these commands? Are you sure? Hit enter. Yes, that's sure. Uh, I'll just fast forward through these. Uh, if you have not installed Homebrew before, it's going to take a while to do this. Don't get worried. This is a common thing. Homebrew has a lot of cool packages that you'll be using, and we're going to be using a lot of them. So I'll go ahead and pause this, and we'll go ahead and get done here. Uh, all right, we're all done installing Homebrew. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, uh, we need to make sure that you have Git installed. So we're going to install git uh, brew install git it's actually eight steps uh, i forgot about this step so we'll go ahead and add that in here to our list of steps so if uh so you see i already installed git but that's okay uh, we can go ahead and reinstall and it'll let us Next up, we want to install Python. This is actually going to be Python 3. You already have Python 2 installed on your Mac. You probably should. Um, and you'll see I've already installed Python 3.12. That's the current version. And uh, our next dependency is we want to install pip. This is going to be pip.3. That This command right here, this will ensure that uh, pip.3 is installed. Um, get a little command here. Uh, now we're going to clone in the repository. So uh, we can get clone. We can go back to the application page here. And this is where we're actually going to pull down this nano saver repository. We can click on a clone button here and we can copy this little link. I'm going to have the whole command below um, just showing you how you get back into um, you know this git clone, this whole link here. And then you just hit enter and uh, it's actually telling me that that des destination path nano VNA saver is it already exists um, because I, I've done this before to make sure it actually works. So I, I can go ahead and remove that directory. Um, yes. Uh, okay. So I removed that directory. And just to show you, this is actually going to work. I'm going to rerun that command again, git clone, and then that uh, GitHub page. And you can see it just cloned everything into there. And now I'm going to change directory uh, or CD uh, into nano saver VNA. And I've now moved into that directory. And we can see all the files that were put into that directory. There's two important files. One is requirements text. Uh, we're going to we're going to actually run that next to get all install all, all of our dependencies. And then after we install our dependencies, we're actually going to run the executable, the nano saver.python directory. So let's let's install our requirements first. And for that, we're going to run python-m-pip install and dot for our requirements. This installs any requirements we need for our executable to run. And then finally, uh, just clear this out. We're going to run Python 3 uh, and then nanosaver.py. So anytime you run a run, the nanosaver application in the future, you're, you're going to want to change directory into this nanosaver directory here. So just cd nano vna dash saver. And then the executable was right here, Python 3 nano vna dash saver.py. That's how you're going to run it. Go hit and hit enter, and in a few seconds, 
the application itself is going to come up. Um, so I'm just switching over to the application screen here. We're now running Nano VNA. Uh, uh, I don't actually have the Nano VNA connected to my computer right now, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my Nano VNA. I'm going to uh, grab a USB C cable. Drop my Nano VNA onto the floor. Thankfully, it's still working. Now I'm going to plug my Nano VNA in. Hopefully, it's still working. I'm going to rescan. Uh, go back into the application here. I'm going to rescan here. And there we go. It discovered the Nano VNA. Connect to the device. And I'll do a sweep here. Uh, so you see it, it uh, got settings from the VNA. And now I'm going to change my sweep settings here. And I'm going to go to a continuous sweep. Go back out of there and click on sweep. And then every time it sweeps here, we can see the line is updating. So fantastic. We've got the application up and running, and it is refreshing every time it, it collects data from the Nano VNA. So even though I dropped the Nano VNA on the floor, it didn't break, and we're getting data from it. So Nano VNA Saver is up and running on my Mac. Um, hopefully, I can make a video for Windows and also for Linux next, and, and we'll get those linked in the top. So thanks for watching. I'm Brady. Take care.